Touchdown, Lima, Peru. for my flight to Lima, Peru. So after five hours, I'm going to be in Lima, Peru. Good morning, guys. So it's breakfast time. Normally in the hotel, they would serve you with something mas Western or mas international. Hanggang sa papunta ka sa mga provinces nila, mas nagiging local yung kanilang cuisine. Arts and culture is super important to the Peruvians. Kaya yung nakita nyo kanina, um, they're giving a chance to their local artists, mainly mga students, yan, to perform. So, papunta na kami ngayon na Wakachina to ask a lot of questions about Peru, family, family system dito, yung tax system nila. Yung nagulat ako kasi per area, kahit sabi mo magkatapat lang talaga halos, magkakaiba sila ng mayor or a person eating that uh, particular place. Meron silang similar trike sa atin. It's called the uh, moto taxi and it's one of the cheapest forms of transportation sa um, lower class areas. Parang 50 cents or 1 solas yung bayad per biyahe na kaya mag-accommodate ng 6 people. So we made a quick bathroom break. What we did was order empanada. So, I'm having chicken empanada. So, when you're here in Peru, hindi nyo pwedeng mamisaw ng empanada with lime. Shut up! And then, I'm also trying alfajor. Yung alfajor nanggaling sa mga Spanish when they came in the 16th century. So, sila yung nag-introduce ng alfajor sa kanila. Sabi sa inyo, when you're traveling, don't diet because you're gonna eat a lot. We are now in the province of Huacachina. According to the Huacachina legend, the reason why my oasis sa gitna ng desert is because there was a princess who lost the love of her life. And then she cried and cried and cried. Kakayak niya ayan, nagkaroon ng pool sa gitna ng desierto. And after nun, naging sirena siya. And it was believed na tuwing full moon, she makes her grand appearance to what? Para mangakit at umuha ng mga men. O, di ba? Siyempre, di ba? Hindi na siya match sa outfit. So, pero, I think they have a surprise. I don't know where they're taking me. But then, sabi lang, sand tour. So, I guess, meron kami buggy experience. Tada! So, good luck to me. Alam niyo naman, hindi ako ganun ka-adventurous. But, sige. Tayo. Then, let's go! I got the shock of my life. I joined pala tong sandboarding. Yung outfit ko naman, hindi naman po yung sandboard. Pag pictorial! Pero, sige na, push na. <laughs> Scared the bells, Falsy! <laughs> Wait lang! I might go like that! Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> For the first time. Well, it's not so bad after all. It's a good thing that I tried it. Dinner. Here. I get to try first hand their potatoes. I'll try it now. Iba yung lasa ng yellow potato nila. Masarap. It's inihaw. And yeah, so I've tried it. Charan! Parang siguro may lime to ulit for sure. Kasi malime sila sa ano nila, sa food nila. Ah, sobrang malasa ng chicken. Sorry, madilim guys. So, thank you. That's it for now. Good night guys. Bye-bye. So, yun 
Nandiyan nila ako ngayon sa airport. Dito magte-take off yung mga flights papunta sa Nazca. Yung Nazca, isang province pa ulit nila. Alam nyo, yung Nazca Lines, lagi ko lang siyang nababasa sa mga libro nun. Nasa loob na tayo ng aircraft. Ngayon, sobrang excited ako kasi for the first time in my life, makikita ko na talaga siya. Doon akong na-encounter ang Nazca Lines sa isang encyclopedia na binabasa ko nung bata ako. And then, the second time is when I bought a book called The Weird 100. These are, you know, collections of weird stuff written by Stephen Stephen. These Nazca lines are located in the Nazca Desert in southern Peru. So, so of geoglyphs, yung tawag, your carvings or etching na ginawa nila doon sa desert sands. May mga geometric shapes and mga distinct animal patterns. Yung mga scientists, they claim that these lines by the Nazca people. When they built their into this these lines, they're not even on top of a hill para makita yung ginagawa nila. And yet, some of the lines sobrang perfect na pagkakagawa. Siguro, you guys are thinking or we're wondering, bakit after, you know, thousands of years, in fact, the impact pa rin yung Nazca lines. It's because that area in the Nazca Desert, number one, hindi po po plan. Po plan man, may i-finish na po ka for years. out for a walk. First stop would be Larcomar. It's a big park and then there is a shopping center. I was looking for a Peruvian restaurant so that I could try their local cuisine. I recommended the hotel earlier and they have recommended Tanta. The services they have here and the food is expensive. For example, in the place that is in the mall, it is in the mall. 25 to 30 um, soles lang. Nag-range siya 390 to, you know, 500 pesos ang isang buong meal. I ordered first strawberry, pineapple, and lime. Marami silang fresh juices dito. No sugar added. So, we'll get to try this one. Mmm! Maasim! Pero, masarap. Sagi dahil sa pineapple and sa lime or baka maasin yung strawberry. Pero yeah, masarap pa din. Healthy. Cheers! Tantita. It's a salad. Merong chicken liver, onions, nuts, maraming tomatoes. Let's try! Hindi na ako nakapagsulita. Ang sarap! This is so nice! This is the first time that I'll be having chamomile tea using fresh chamomile. Galing! So, this is their park. Kennedy Park or Cats Park. Ah! Ayun na nga! The kitty catties! Ring! Kitty catties are here! Nagpapahinga. Tada! Look what I found! Alam ko na mga taga Peru, mahilig silang kumanta. Mahilig silang sumayaw. I'm just so happy to experience first hand yung, yeah, yung local life dito. Ngayon, nasa local market tayo. Ang dami nilang fruit. What you can do here is sit down, pick a fruit, they will blend it right over there, and then it will serve fresh. Let's try. Sabi nila sobrang sweet daw nito. Manamiss na miss na maasim-asim, pero nagulat lang yung mga ganito ko. Um, harap siya ha. Hindi siya yung typical na grape na nalalasahan ko sa Philippines. So, iba siya. Masarap. Now we're going to try typical Peruvian breakfast. Ma coffee sila dito. Ang patok na patok na breakfast para sa mga Peruvians. Mura na, healthy pa. So now we're trying quinoa. Parang ano nila? Cereal drink in the morning. Hmm, mabango. Ay, 
It's very good. Masarap kasi manamis na miss siya. So I love the cinnamon and the pineapple. Sobrang daming produce. Condiments. There's wasabi, paprika, curry, cayenne, pepper, Peruvian pink salt. Yung mga pour na nakikita natin, iba-ibang luto. Pwedeng gawing drink, pwedeng pakuluan, or nilaga, i-grill. There are different, maybe a hundred ways to prepare corn. Oh, come on! This is one of my favorite teas to drink. Once again, tada! Super corn. This is a staple food din nila dito, ang potatoes. Meron silang over 4,000 varieties of potatoes. Iba-ibang kulay, iba-ibang shape, pero lahat masarap. So this one is the potato that prevents prostate problems. Papakuluan lang daw siya. May three regions ang Peru. The coastal, the Andes or the mountains, and the Amazon, which is the jungle or the rainforest area. And bawat region, iba-iba yung produce na makukuha mo. The chilies mostly are from the Andes. Sobrang ang hangdo niyan. Mas maliit yung chili, mas dangerous daw. What you're seeing is the charapita. This chili comes from the Amazon. This is, of course, the smallest, but this is the hottest chili that they have here in Peru. Itong kaliit-liit na to, grabe. Kayang-kaya na itong pasuin ang mga tila niyo. These are scallops. It's because we are in a coastal area, so marami silang mga seafoods. Ayan, nakikita mo, super fresh! They're still alive! Yung clams nila, oh, buhay pa. And, oh my gosh, octopus! And she is the owner of the shop. Mariela, can you say hi to the people of the Philippines? <laughs> Thank you, Mariela. Yung katabi ng stall niya is a mini restaurant. So you can pick whatever you like. So you can eat it fresh here sa the market. Interesting, isn't it? What I love about the people of Peru, they're very helpful, they're very friendly, and they're very warm sa mga guests na pumupunta. Familiar ba sa inyo? Yes, they also have it here. It's called chicharones. So deep fried na pork siya. Pero actually, it's a way of cooking it. So in sa atin kasi when you say chicharon, alam mo na pork yun. Ano na when you say uh, chicharones, something that is deep fried. But of course, commonly, pork hindi na deep fried nila. are big on cheese so mahilig sila sa mga keso it was brought in by the colonizers particularly the spanish sila yung nagdala ng cow so wala silang cow during the early days so this is called the suri suri and these worms come from the amazon iniihaw nila at kinakain delicacy po yan dito ayan nakita niyo yung mga worms na yan para siyang kebab okay Okay, sige, pwede. Kakaiba. Okay. Meron din siyang medicinal purpose. You you boil it with honey and it's good for cough. Uh, pwede niyo siyang i-deep fry. Gawin niyong chicharones. Yan. Or pwede niyo rin siyang, I don't know. Mahala na kayo kung anong gusto niyo. Gumagalaw na siya, guys. Guess what I'm holding? Ito po ay ang tinatawag nating cacao. Ito yung ginagamit para sa chocolate. So, yun pala yung itsura niya. And, ito ang itsura niya sa loob. Pwede daw siyang kainin. How do you eat this? Okay. Why can't you? But not, don't swallow. Don't swallow, don't chew. <laughs> it's like santol na manga. Labo, no? But it's sweet, but it's very good. And it's the first time that I've tried it. <laughs> hmm. When it's cream, it's not good to eat. Okay. They have to be matured to eat it. It's almost black. So, this is what we bought earlier. Let's try it now. It's very good. It's corn. I believe they put it in the sugar. They caramelized it. Very good. And this is just one sold. Or 15 pesos. Hello, welcome. Hi. Nice view. So 
today I will be taught how to make pisco sour and ceviche. And lunch will be eaten here na rin sa Kala Restaurant. Hindi lang siya sabon, restaurant pa siya. Yung joke class na yun. To make pisco sour is this type of bread. So we have two shots of pisco, lime, a sweet syrup, and of course, egg white. Okay. Oh, weird, no? Yung drink merong puti ng itlog. Okay, sige. Shake, 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 shake. So, this is our Pisco Sour. Very nice and it's good a ceviche, mm. our typical dish here. So first thing we need is uh, fish, salt, chili, coriander, lemon juice, red onion. So this is Peruvian ah. ceviche. Thank you, chef! You're welcome. So now let's try this one. It's very good. Manamis na mes. Maalat alat, maasim asim. And daming different flavors. We are still in Kala restaurant and I'm having arroz con moriscos for lunch. This is causa. Sorry, na bawasan ko na guys. Crab meat over there and potato. A local dessert. Fruits. And it's dulce de leche. Ibang mga prutas ito. Look. Nothing can go inside. Siyempre, hindi natin pwedeng pasukin. Karamihan ang nakikita niya dito, original. Alam niyo ba kung anong lumalabas sa fountain na yan? Para siyang... Ay, what's wrong? So cute! So this train will depart from Cusco. Go to Machu Picchu. Yes! Finally here! Thank you so much for watching Duri Santamaria PH YouTube channel. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you like this episode, kindly click the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions, or any violent reactions, ayan, mag-comment na naman po kayo sa baba. Nababasa naman po namin lahat yan. Thank you very much everybody. God bless you all. Till our next adventure!